Home, Chapter 53 A Miraculous Ladybug Fan Fiction Written and Narrated by Mira Rose Video Edited by T.S. If you haven't already, don't forget to go check out the previous 52 chapters of this story in order, because I know YouTube recommends things a little wonky. For those of you not binge-watching, welcome back. This is Season 2 of Home. There's a lot to expect, and I hope to live up to the hype that you've given me over the last few months. Now then, if you're still listening, put Season 2 in the comments section. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Please enjoy Home, Chapter 53. Marinette Dupang Chang Marinette cracked an egg into the cast iron, humming to herself as the morning light filtered through the window above the kitchen sink. Her parents were downstairs doing bakery business things, so she had the floor to herself, although her father's laughs echoed up on occasion. She heard the stairs' familiar creak and didn't bother to turn around. These eggs wouldn't cook themselves, after all. You can take off the mask, you know, she said, betting on her guest wearing it. I'd, uh, rather keep it on, if that's all right. But what about Plag's breakfast? Did she want him to take the mask off? Truthfully, no. She wasn't sure she could handle seeing Adrian right now. Kat's physical changes were enough to make her cry last night albeit into a pillow and without anyone's knowledge. The changes weren't a bad thing in and of themselves. If anything, he'd gotten hotter, but it was a testimony he'd done it without her. Cat Noir became an adult without her. She had to wonder if he felt the same way when he looked at her. Did he regret it? No. Best not to dwell on what-ifs and should-haves. She didn't make an effort to visit him, either, so she had no right to call him out on it. Besides, with the horse miraculous, it would have been easier for her to visit him than the other way around. He already ate, he said, walking over and filling the space beside her. May I? He gestured to the pan. Uh, sure. To do what? To her horror... He split the yolk open, the goo sizzling as it trickled off the white and into the pan. Humming to himself, Cat picked up the spatula and twisted his wrists, mixing and seasoning and... Oh, that looks quite good, actually. This is... she began. A trick I picked up on my travels. Try it. Hesitating, Marinette took a bite. Oh, this was good. A cat, she began. I learned it from this Samaritan in Pakistan. Pakistan? Why was he in Pakistan? Yeah. He turned his attention to salting the cast iron, giving it a good scrub before setting it upside down on the oven's open flame. Where? She didn't mean to hesitate. Where have you been all this time, Cat? Here and there, he said, flipping the pot over and rubbing oil onto the surface. Spent a couple months in Italy with a piano professor. Spent an entire year in India, actually. Got a pet of koala in Australia, too. Can you believe that? Oh, and I went to Dubai. It was probably the most surreal trip I took. Oh, and I learned how to make harps in Spain. Double action, that is, not lever harps. Although, so you've been traveling. She cut him off. All that time and he didn't bother to visit? Even when he went to Spain? To Italy? A stone throws away? And he didn't... She cleared her throat, trying to clear her mind in the impending tears. My mom, he answered, turning his back to her. She loves it. Uh, traveling, that is. Well, now Marinette felt like a jerk. Your mom? 
Oh, Marinette, you'd love her. He wiped out the excess oil and opened the cupboard, a gesture that proved their former relationship. He knew where everything went. Did you... Marinette began. Did you ever... She couldn't bring herself to ask. What was that? Did you ever visit Japan? She knew he wanted to in the past, so it was a good deterrent. About that. He wrung his hands before taking the seat across from her. That's, uh, where I lost the miraculous. The butterfly miraculous. Yeah, the butterfly miraculous. She stared him down over her mug of orange juice. So? What happened? Cat shifted in his seat. I started the night in Tokyo, but... So you lost it in Japan? Well, I... Uh... Woke up next to a cow. Oh. Um... That's a bit of a plot twist. In what country? Uh, Still Japan. Cat raised his hands like he was meditating. Hokkaido. So you lost it somewhere between Tokyo and Hokkaido? Yep. Did you give it away drunk or something? No! Cat just about yelled, protesting, I don't drink! He crossed his arms. And I don't know. So you went to bed in Tokyo and woke up in Hokkaido? He sucked his teeth. I was making takoyaki at a workshop one moment, then lying next to a cow the next. Oh. Marinette let the news sink in. Oh! By the way, a cow nose? Very moist. A cow nose? That's how I woke up. I got nuzzled by a cow nose. I think maybe it thought I was grass? Oh, we were both confused. I stared at its big, brown eyes for a solid half minute before screaming and sitting up. Ew! <laughs> Marinette laughed, flinching at the thought. Seriously? Big, brown eyes? What's with that description? Were you gazing into them or something? He laughed. I wouldn't want to make up something like that even if I could. Do you think someone stole it? Her tone brought seriousness back into the conversation. Cat sighed. I don't know. Then how do you plan on the temple? The temple? This is going to sound harsh, but Marinette... He scratched behind his neck. I'm more qualified to be the guardian than you are now. She blinked twice transforming her softened expression into a hard glare. No! I'm not trying to take them away from you. He lifted his hands again, palms toward her. But I need to borrow them for a bit. They can help. Over my dead body, she said, standing up to snatch the still dirty spatula and wash it at the sink. It also meant standing centimeters away from him. Feeling her cheeks flush as she checked him out from habit, Marinette turned her back on him. He leaves. For years, traveling plague knows where with all the opportunity to visit, only to return and basically ask for the miraculous? Saying he'd be better after losing one? Oh, (laughs) she shouldn't have let herself cry month after month. You said we'd do this together, right? He had a point. He had said he was going to leave last night after letting her know, but she insisted he stay. The pox is upstairs, she sighed, bumping her fist against his chest before going to get her dishes. This cursed cat. I'll follow you up. He said, 
a bit softer than their conversation was. Knowing she was being stubborn, or even petty, without much of a reason, Marinette cleaned up their meal in silence, dragging herself upstairs as Kat trailed behind. Ugh. Okay. Time to go plan an adventure with her ex-boyfriend. What could possibly go wrong? (laughs) Yeah, right. Everything would go wrong. Thank you so much for listening. Chapter 54 is on the way. I hope you liked the first part of the second season of Home. I'm really excited for where this story is going, and I hope you guys stay along for the journey as well. For those of you in the future binge-watching, whoop, whoop, go ahead and go to the next episode. Now then, if you've made it this far, don't forget to not only subscribe, hit the bell, thumbs up this video, but also leave a comment. If you don't know what to comment, put ex-boyfriend adventures. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!